Is the push-up as effective as the bench press? If you're into strength training, then you've probably heard the discussion whether bodyweight training or weight training is the best form of exercise. In this video we will compare push-ups and bench press on all important points. We will clear up the myths and give you the facts. First we will take a look at the mechanics. Both movements are similar in terms of shoulder and arm movement. The difference is that your hands are fixed on the ground, pushing up your body weight when you do a push-up, while it's the opposite when you do the bench press. Here you move your arms up and down while your body is fixed on a bench. This difference is the key point and affects the pros and the cons for both movements. This leads us to the most discussed point of this topic, how to progress. While you can adjust the resistance for bench press easily by adding up more weight, it's much more complicated for push-ups. You can use a weight vest, but most vests are limited to a certain weight and decrease the range of motion a little bit. It's also possible to add resistance with a partner. The partner can adjust the intensity by changing the lever and pushing more or less weight of his body on yours. The lever can be adjusted by leaning forwards or backwards with the shoulders or by moving the feet forwards or backwards. The downside of this is that it's hard to measure how much resistance he actually adds to your push-up. One day it could be more and the next day it could be less and you could probably never get the exact same resistance again. If you don't want to use a vest or a partner, you can also vary the intensity with your own body weight. You can change the lever or the amount of contracting fibers to make the exercise easier or harder. To change the lever, you put hands and feet closer together or further apart, by positioning your body more horizontal or more vertical. To change the amount of contracting fibers, you fade between bilateral and unilateral execution with archer push-ups or one-arm push-ups. While in an archer push-up, the straight arm gives you a certain amount of support, the one-arm push-up is the hardest progression you can do for a normal push-up, because you have to move the same weight with just one arm and half the amount of contracting fibers. The one-arm push-up is also a lot more challenging in terms of stabilization for your core and legs. The downside of this exercise is that the leap from one to another progression is very big. For bench press you can add up small and exact amounts of weight. This will allow you to vary the intensity very easy and precise. For the next point we take an eye on the width of your grip and the wrist position. No matter if you do push-ups or bench press you can vary the grip on both exercises easily. You either place your hands wide or closer together. When it comes to the wrist position, you should aim for a neutral and stable wrist when you do the bench press. When you do push-ups, you can do them on your hands, push-up grips, rings or on your knuckles. Some beginners struggle with the normal hand position because their wrist is not used to this motion. In that case, you should integrate wrist preparation and mobility exercises into your warm-up and training and you can point your fingers backwards. The placement of the weight is also different. While the force in bench pressing is concentrated above your wrist, the weight is spread over your complete body in a push-up. Now let's move on to the range of motion. The basic push-up and the bench press have nearly the same range of motion. With a push-up you reach the ground with your chest, while the bar touches your chest on the bench press. If you want to increase the range of motion for a better chest stretch, you can do it on both exercises. For the bench press you can use dumbbells to get deeper, and for the push-ups you can use rings or push-up grips to increase the range of motion. When it comes to the shoulder blade movement, both have similarities but also differences. The key on both movements is to bring the shoulder blades together and open up your chest. In a push-up you move your shoulder blades forward and downward in the top position, where you aim for a hollow body, while it's the opposite on the bench. On the bench you pull them backwards, together and downwards the whole time. The 
This difference leads us straight to the body position. While on the push-up you aim for a backward tilted pelvis and a neutral spine or respectively a rounded back in the top position, you aim for a slightly arched back on the bench press. How much you arch depends on your training goal. A power lifter will use a bigger arch than a bodybuilder because the arch will decrease the range of motion a little bit. The arch in general occurs because you retract your shoulder blades. This will force the body to extend the spine a little bit and helps you to stabilize your shoulder. The position of your legs will also trigger your posterior chain. When you push your legs into the ground, you engage your hamstrings and glutes, which forces your body even more to extend. But when you do a push-up, you are in a plank position, so the gravity pulls your body down to the front. That is why you activate your anterior chain to stabilize the movement. In a bench press you lay on your back and there's no down pulling force that you have to work against. The weight is also not spread over your whole body like in the push-up. It's just right above your wrist. This difference results in the different body positions. To avoid imbalances you should aim for the right grip and arm placement on both exercises. If you choose the wrong grip, one side has to push more than the other and this can lead to imbalances and injuries in the long term. It's the same for push-ups if your body is more rotated or placed to one side. As already mentioned, you can do push-ups on rings and bench pressing with dumbbells. Here you will see imbalances even clearer because every arm has to push more for itself. The breathing is the same in both movements. No matter if you move the bar or your body. When moving downward you breathe in, when moving upward you breathe out. As you can see, push-ups and bench press both have their advantages and disadvantages. The best option would probably be to implement both exercises into your workout to get the most out of this kind of movement. But even if you decide to do only one, you will be able to build up strength, muscle mass and endurance, no matter which one you choose. If you have further questions, just leave a comment. Thanks, Alex.